Hi, my name is Matt Maxwell, and I'm a Tektronix product manager for the USB Spectrum Analyzers. And here we're going to compare a Tektronix newest uh, real-time spectrum analyzer, the RSA 507A, being controlled from a Panasonic touchpad through a USB connection to a Rodian Schwartz FSH. And what we'll look at briefly here is the difference, a comparison of the sweep speeds with a low RBW. So the reason you would want to use a low RBW to do a sweep would be to get the lowest noise sensitivity on a measurement. So when you're out in the field looking for low level signals of interest, whether they be interfering signals or spurs or whatever, it's helpful to use a low resolution bandwidth. And what's interesting is in the past with other analyzers like the Rhodium Schwartz FSH4, it wasn't practical to use a low RBW setting because the sweep speed, sweep speed became very long. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So uh, starting out with the Rodian Schwartz analyzer, I'm starting from a preset condition. So this instrument happens to be 100 kilohertz to 3.6 gigahertz. And I'm simply going to control the bandwidth setting, go, go to a manual RBW and start reducing it from the three megahertz setting and we're looking at the sweep speed. How does the sweep speed change? It started out at 45 milliseconds. Now with a 300 kilohertz RBW, it's 200 milliseconds. You see the sweep speed is related to the sweep time uh, to the RBW setting. As I continue to go lower, the noise floor is going down for the Rodi instrument. When I get to a 30 kilohertz RBW, the sweep time is now at 20 seconds realizing around 90, minus 90 dBm noise floor. And I can play with the trace settings if I'd like. Really the point though is to show the sweep time with, a, with that RBW is fairly long, 20 seconds, to do a full sweep of 3.6 gigahertz on the Rodian Schwartz analyzer. So now we're gonna take a look at the Tektronix analyzer. So the RSA 507A is controlled through the Panasonic tough pad and the sweep time right now with the three megahertz RBW is reported in the upper right portion of the screen of 1.4 seconds. So not as fast as the less than 50 millisecond sweep time of the Rodian Schwartz analyzer. However, as I change the resolution bandwidth to be lower, which I have this control panel here showing up on the touch screen, I start to reduce it and I can watch what happens with the sweep time. One megahertz sweep time is not that much different, but as I reduce this to close to 30 kilohertz, sweep time has not changed much, while the noise floor, the apparent noise floor for this measurement has gone down. If I continue to go down in the RBW to a kilohertz setting, a couple things I can notice there. The sweep time, it's gonna update here, doesn't uh, changed too much. It's 4.4 seconds now compared to, well, we didn't even get this narrow with the Rodian Schwartz analyzer. The number of FFT points to realize this narrow RBW does increase, and you can see other content that explains more about this, um, but I'm able to see much lower noise floor signals in a way of driving the analyzer with a narrow resolution bandwidth filter that I wouldn't think to use previously with competitive spectrum analyzers like the Rodian Schwartz FSH. So a 4.3 second sweep time with a one kilohertz RBW, it's the same span as the Rodian Schwartz analyzer, 3.6 gigahertz span starting at 100 kilohertz, the same uh, frequency range as the FSH4, um, even though the Tektronix RSA 507 covers up to 7.5 gigahertz for this particular model. Just wanna compare equal setup sweep times between the two analyzers. So hopefully that's interesting for you to show you how you can use the RSA 507A USB analyzer to find lower level signals with a narrow resolution bandwidth setting compared to the Rodian Schwartz FSH. I thank you for your time.